right, we are now here with the head of school, Mr. Roy Pullins. Yes. Okay, now tell us about Duke Ellington School of the Arts. Duke Ellington School of the Arts is a pre-professional training ground for students artistically in a college preparatory program on the academic side. It services about 500 students mm -hmm. in eight different art areas, and these 500 students come from um, each of the eight wards in Washington, D.C., and we have a few students who travel from Maryland and Virginia to attend the school. Now, what is the criteria for the students to come here and audition and be a part of this program? For a school that is so successful with the end product in terms of students, um, it has a much different admissions process than what people imagine. Mm -hmm. Students are um, evaluated on their artistic passion and abilities. That's it. Okay. That's how you get into the program. We're not really worried about what your attendance was or what your grades were or even your behavior because we believe the arts are so powerful and that if students are so passionate about the arts, then all of those other components will fall on the line. Mm -hmm. So academically, parents can feel comfortable that the students are going to be well-rounded with what the curriculum has to offer here? Absolutely. Duke Ellington offers the um, you know, full spectrum of advanced placement courses, honors courses, and so students are very much challenged academically. It's a college preparatory program. And our students are accepted to some of the top tier universities and colleges, uh, both artistically and academically. We've mm -hmm. had students go to Yale and Harvard, uh, as well as Juilliard and NYU Tisch program. So we cover the spectrum here at Duke Ellington. Okay, now with all the budget cuts that are going on with the arts in public schools, how important is it to have a program such as this? It's, it's critically important. I can't overstate how important a program like this is. You know, students need different motivations and Duke Ellington provides that artistic motivation for students. Without a program like this, many of these students really would be disengaged from school and could be lost mm -hmm. in that respect, but it is this program that keeps them focused, that keeps them enthusiastic, that allows them to you know, keep that dream alive, and it's so important to have that in life. Now, you had a few special guests that were here today. What went into the planning of having Michelle Obama come here for this occasion? Oh my goodness, it was, <laughs> it was a whirlwind of activity, trust me, I mean, uh, between the White House advanced staff and Secret Service and just all of the planning that had to go into a program like this, all within a week's time. Within a week's time. Within a week's time. And school was out two days ago <laughs> Students had left. We had to actually pull all of this together, and that's why I was so pleased to see the entire community come out. We actually had reservations. Would people come back? Mm -hmm. Now that summer had officially started and students were gone, but I was so pleased to see the kind of support that the community had for Duke Ellington. Michelle Obama spoke about coming here and having the students go to the White House. What do you think it is that draws her back here to Duke Ellington every time and to pull from the pool of students that are here? I just think that, you know, these students solicit a certain level of pride for any, from anyone who sees them. And I think that the Obamas are just proud of successful young people anywhere. And to have these young people from Duke Ellington be in their own backyard, so to speak, even makes them more proud. And oftentimes, you know, young people today are criticized for what they aren't doing right, but you see these young people and they're a testament to, you know, what young people are doing well. Mm -hmm. They make us all proud. And you gave a very um, high statistic of the success level during the uh, program. What was that statistic? 98% of our students graduate on time and contrasted with 52% in District of Columbia schools. You know, overall, mm -hmm. that's quite an achievement. And 95% of our students are accepted into institutions of higher learning. And this year, the seniors achieved over $4 million in scholarship, which is, you know, wonderful, great achievement. Really. Now, uh, lastly, is there anything that you would want to say to the public uh, to endear them even more? to Duke Ellington School of the Arts? Well, you know, as head of school, and I, I'm so proud of our young people, I'm so proud of our staff, because, you know, everyone who worked with these young people, even after school was out, you know, this was all pro bono. They weren't getting paid extra. They do it because 
they love these kids, they love this institution. And that's really what education is all about. But I really appreciate the support that people had in coming out, but not to forget institutions like Duke Ellington because it takes an awful lot to run an institution like this. Mm -hmm. And so we need you know, support from the community to maintain this level of excellence because all of our funding you know, that we receive from the school district certainly is not enough to cover all the expenses in an institution like this. So is there a fund set up for grants that people we can donate to? We actually do. We have an Ellington Fund, which is our development arm. And if you go to www.ellingtonschool.org, you can certainly make a donation and find out more information about um, our fall performances coming up, what our students are involved in academically, and just the whole scope of programming here at Duke Ellington. And you also have some famous alum. Oh. The list goes on and on and, you know, I mean, Denise Graves, the opera star, is an alum here of Duke Ellington. The, the comedian Dave Chappelle, oh. alum of Duke Ellington. Uh, the R&B singer Johnny Gill attended Duke Ellington School of the Arts. The list goes on and on. But what I'm most proud of, we have so many young people. They may not have the national household names, but they're working in the arts. They're working on Broadway. They're working in the film and television industry, and they're doing their thing day after day, and it makes us all proud because you really can make a living in the arts. Really? It's yeah. been such a pleasure talking to oh, you. Thank pleasure. you for uh, speaking with Unity you on betcha. today. All right. Okay. Take, take care. care. <laughs>